hey guys hello everyone welcome to rasayan academy so guys basically this video is a general discussion about uh, the recent csinet examination and uh, your scores basically and i will be talking about a lot of stuff like uh, what is going to help you in cracking the csinet examination and what is stopping you from not doing it right away okay so first thing is guys i just hope that you have uh, checked your scores the csinet examination the recent uh, csinet examination that uh, was uh, there in january you must have checked your score now a lot of students who have been preparing for one year there are a lot of students who are preparing from one year or let's say six months right so you have checked your score some of them have done really really well they have scored approximately 130 110 to 130 a lot of students have scored in this right my students on an academy from rasayan academy and i'm really happy for all of you very very congratulations right definitely the cutoff uh, is yet to be out and uh, we will know uh, what is your rank but the marks are very good now for those students who have uh, let's say scored less than 90 this is a video for those students right and if you know anyone who is still struggling with the same score and who is uh, maybe not able to get away from the 60 to 90 score who is not able to go beyond this please uh, share this video with them now the first thing that i want to talk about is guys what is happening why are you only stuck on this score this is uh, so obvious and we have been talking about this uh, i've been talking about this with my students in the previous session also in all the sessions we uh, start with this right because we need to take care of few things and you need to ask yourself few questions that why is this repeating okay so the first thing first i uh, really want you to ask these questions to yourself and i want you to self analyze what you have been doing the first thing when you are preparing for any competitive examination you must ask yourself can you study one thing again and again can you study the same thing can you study the same things again and again what do i mean by that this is a continuous process that is once you have studied something yes once you have studied something let's say you have read something you need to revise also and then you need to recall also so this is a continuous cycle that you have to follow to crack any CS, uh, like csi net or gate any examination you need to read few concept you need to revise you need to practice along with that and then you need to recall in the exam so this is what you have to do so does this resonate with you if yes then only you can move onwards and you'll be confident okay i can do this this is like really simple for me if this it does not come to you naturally then you have to uh you know uh find some tricks that how are you going to uh, do the revision how are you be uh, how are you going to be good on the revision part how are you going to be good on the recall part if you have decided that yes you want to clear this crack this competitive exam okay so first of all you need to ask yourself this question and then work off any of these things in which you are lagging behind because this is a this is the first thing which i'm asking you to do right for any competitive examination now the second thing is which most of the students are still getting stuck at that you don't have to run after the fancy book names for example if i say the uh, foreign authors are better than in indian authors i'm not saying that but there are few books in which i have seen collectively it's a very uh, nice uh, collection of uh, data as compared to what you get uh, here right so for example i have told you ki uh, you must study organic chemistry from clayden okay so there are a lot of students who are not able to understand Clayden, but still they'll try hard and hard to do this just because I have said, just because any other educator on an academy or anywhere have said. So that is not how it works. Clayden is, I have told you to study from Clayden because it's a very nice book, right? And there are plenty of examples and there are a lot of questions of the previous CSR net and gate examination which have directly been uh, taken from this book, right? So that is uh, a lot of, uh, there is a lot of benefit. But if you want to just understand the reaction mechanism, so Clayden basically shows you reaction mechanism reaction mechanism and a few reagents uh, within the chapter there is no chapter separately and reagents 
and name reactions which are basically embedded in the cham uh, chapters only right so this is what it is teaching you can study this from any other indian author also which has a simple language so it is not necessary to run after some fancy books just because any educator has uh, told you just study from where you understand and you can complete the topic in less time okay complete the topic in less time that is our goal so this is another thing i want you to understand third thing is <clears throat> are you spending too much time on reading like are you spending too much time on reading or should i ask the same question are you practicing enough are you practicing enough what is enough practice what is enough practice right you will know this when you are giving the exam you will know this once you just look at the question let, let's say there's some mcq and you are looking at the question and you're not able to even uh, say that which topic it is coming from that is when you are failing at your practice you have read good enough but you're not applying it uh, applying the knowledge on the uh, question right so when you are looking at a question you're not able to recognize that where is this question from that is lack of practice okay fourth thing are you revising properly reading practicing properly and then second thing is revising properly what do i mean by that revising properly what do i mean by that when uh, you know this is the time when you start your preparation for another uh, let's say another 6 months or 5 months whenever your exam is in june or july <clears throat> right so revising you will be thinking about this in the last 2 months but no you have to think about this right now if you are let's say revising the whole chapter of any book that you were let's say following let's say you are following caruthar so or let's say gladen so if you are studying the whole chapter that's a big mistake because that's going to consume a lot of time at this level you are not going to study the whole chapter that is going to be disaster yes why because the whole chapter is going to consume a lot of time you are going to make notes while you study notes how are you going to make notes don't be lazy about this you just have to uh, note down first of all if you are following an academy you will be able to uh, just uh, you know note down the class notes while you are studying that will be great right and along with that whenever whichever book you study uh those uh, examples you can note down along with that right so that will be huge so revising properly means revising from your notes not from the source where you had actually uh you know started studying from this is going to consume a lot of time now the fifth point is yes are you taking help from any source uh basically uh, there are a lot of students who have done self preparation and they have done really really good in the uh, previous examination right just by studying from <clears throat> different youtube channels they have got their concepts clear i am not saying that you need some help or i am not the one who can tell you whether you need help or not but if you are taking any help let's say you have taken an academy subscription so let me just remind you my classes are starting from the month of april from 1st of april they are starting okay so if you are taking any help that is going to um basically make things easier for you in less time you will be able to study more there will be a lot of concepts which you will be able to know in very less time and with very less efforts right so getting some helps uh, some external help will also make your preparation very easy if you want to join an academy plus you can use the code jagriti s and i have also uh, uploaded another video that what are the courses i am launching first and there will be a lot of things to study there are plus courses also and along with that there will be free classes as well i'll update you about the free classes very very soon all right now sixth point that is <clears throat> are you following some topics few topics few important topics of all the three or four subjects i must say that there is aptitude why do you forget aptitude there is aptitude there is physical chemistry there is inorganic chemistry 
and then there is organic chemistry so are you following some important topics from all of these four subjects if yes you there is a very huge chance you will qualify csi net even in your first attempt if no then you will be stuck in the cycle of 60 to 90 you will not get more than this right because yeah the marks distribution is like that you have to attempt all of these four and maybe few few uh, important topics of all of these four is going to fetch you greater than 110 right you will be sorted so just go through all the important topics right then only you're going to get greater than this and you know there are a lot of students even i did that uh, at once that maybe i'll just uh, skip physical chemistry and i'll just do aptitude inorganic and organic and uh, the same thing i found out obviously the, there are personal uh, you know preferences that maybe i like organic more but you have to do physical chemistry also to crack this examination otherwise you'll be stuck in this cycle uh, again and again with each attempt you may increase like uh, 5 to 10 marks you, are, you have got uh, nice you know added 5 to 10 marks to your uh, previous result but cracking the examination would be very difficult if you are not following all of these four right then seventh thing is are you failing in time management and this is the time management of the exam are you failing in that if you are failing in time management then you it is very clear that you have not given enough mock test there are free mock tests on an academy paid there are also paid mock tests in the plus classes right but there are uh, free mock tests as well if you are failing in time management maybe you have not solved enough pyq papers all right and maybe you have not given enough mock test so that is what i will tell you this is a clear indication time management if is if it is not good it is a clear indication ki aapne nahi practice kiya hai there is no other uh, you know conclusion from that it's a very clear conclusion right now there is one more thing i want to ask you and i must say that you ask yourself can you go uh, without studying for 3 to 4 days without having any tension right so three to four days without touching your books three to four days without touching your books and then no tension if this if you are in this phase then uh, i must say that maybe you're not worried enough about your score or maybe uh, yeah definitely there are some personal uh, you know limitations and maybe sometimes you are busy at your home maybe you are having some wedding at the family that can happen but if there is no tension and if you can just go on without studying for a while then that is problematic okay that is going to hamper your uh, preparation a lot so first thing you have to think about this don't go 3 to 4 days without touching your books even if you are having some time revise some organic reagents revise some uh, formulas or anything just don't go without touching your books so these eight points i want to remind you i think these are the you know most important points that you should take care of while starting your preparation for any competitive examination yes and uh, definitely the books must be uh, sorted the notes must be uh, sorted the syllabus must be sorted this uh, goes without saying right but these are all the uh, all the points that i think if you take care of these you are not going to fail next time and uh, analyze yourself guys analyze that what you have done wrong this time so that you don't do the same mistake in the next examination you have plenty of uh, uh, you know opportunities this year and i think that you must make it this year right you must crack your grf this year you have a lot of opportunities okay all right guys so i'll see you in another video and if you are interested in joining an academy plus you can go through the previous video and uh, join an academy plus by using the code jagriti s that gives you a 10 percent discount okay all right so take care of yourself i'll see you in another video very very soon bye everyone